Welcome to the NHSN 2022 ReBaseline Introduction Quick Learn. This Quick Learn is part of the ReBaseline Educational Materials. In June 2023, the NHSN team announced plans to prepare to update the National Baseline. This Quick Learn is an introduction to the ReBaseline process and how it will impact the NHSN application. This Quick Learn will introduce the NHSN 2022 HAI rebaseline. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to define common rebaseline terminology, explain what the national baseline is and why it is being updated, and describe how the rebaseline will impact the analysis reports in the NHSN application. There are a few key terms that will be used frequently throughout this quick learn. The first key term is national baseline. This refers to the national level NHSN rate data from a specific year used to calculate the predicted number of healthcare associated infections or device days. More about the national baseline will be explained later in this presentation. The term risk adjustment refers to a methodology used to account for the differences in risk of an outcome or rate among a set of factors that are identified as having a statistically significant association with that outcome. The term rebaseline is used to describe the process of updating the national HAI baselines and risk adjustment models used to calculate the SIRs and SURs using a new national baseline year. Finally, number predicted is the number of predicted infections or events calculated based on the national HAI aggregate data. This number is adjusted for each facility using variables found to be significant predictors of HAI incidence. This is used as the denominator of the SIR, which we will review on the next slide. The SIR, which stands for Standardized Infection Ratio, is a summary statistic that compares the number of HAIs that were observed to the number of HAIs that were predicted to occur. The number predicted, which is the SIR denominator, is based on a calculation using nationally aggregated data during a baseline time period and risk adjusted for several factors that have been found to be statistically significantly associated with differences in the infection incidence. The rebaseline is changing how the SIR denominator is calculated. The calculation of number of observed events, which is the SIR numerator, is not changing with the rebaseline. What is the national baseline? The national baseline is a set of national incident rates for a referent time period that is used to calculate the number of predicted HAIs or device days for a subsequent time period. The number of predicted HAIs or device days is an estimate based on aggregated data reported to CDC's NHSN during a specific baseline period and risk adjusted for several factors that have been found to be significantly associated with differences in infection incidents. For example, the current national baseline for SIRs and SURs in NHSN reports is 2015 data. NHSN reports that use the 2015 baseline reference the 2015 baseline in the report title. CDC updates the baseline year to refresh the data where policy practice and or protocol changes may need to be incorporated in the national data used for external benchmark comparisons and may help drive the progress of preventing HAIs. The current risk adjustment models and the 2015 incidence year do not reflect the surveillance definition and protocol changes that have occurred in recent years. The rebaseline will ensure that the risk adjustment models are better able to capture relevant changes in the risk of HAIs since 2015 and will allow hospitals to compare their incidence of HAIs to recent national data. Measuring progress under an updated national standard is important to understanding prevention efforts and standards in the current healthcare environment. NHSN annually publishes the National and State HAI Progress Report, which measures progress towards HAI prevention, and the use of SIRs and SURs is essential for this report. 
SIRs are also used by state health departments, hospital systems, and other organizations to track HAI prevention initiatives. SIR goals are also part of the HHS Action Plan. Additionally, an updated NHSN national baseline is important because SIRs are used by CDC to measure changes in HAIs, which is particularly helpful in times of public health emergencies. For example, NHSN used HAI SIRs to evaluate the impact of COVID-19 on HAIs in 2020. The rebaseline will introduce changes to the NHSN analysis reports. Once implemented, the 2022 baseline will be available for facilities and groups to use when analyzing 2022 HAI data and forward. The 2022 rebaselined SIRs and SURs will provide a comparison to the 2022 national incidents. The new baseline will represent data reported to NHSN for the calendar year 2022, as in data reported to NHSN in 2022 will serve as the new baseline year for future SIR and SUR calculations at the local, state, and national levels. The SIRs and SURs on the 2015 baseline will remain available. When the 2022 baseline is initially released in the NHSN application, users will have a choice when analyzing their SIRs or SURs about whether to use the 2015 or 2022 baseline. This is an example of what the updated analysis tree view will look like with separate folders for each baseline. When both baselines become available, it is important to note that metrics calculated under different baselines are not comparable. CDC understands that the hospital SIRs and SURs calculated under the 2022 baseline may shift closer to one compared to current SIRs and SURs under the 2015 baseline. CDC will provide additional details in the near future about the changes that users can expect to see in their SIRs and SURs as a result of the rebaseline. There are many other resources available online that provide further information about the 2022 rebaseline. The rebaseline webpage, FAQ webpage, and previously released newsletter articles are all available online. If you have further questions, please reach out to nhsn at cdc.gov with the subject line 2022 rebaseline.